Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. Happy New Week to you all. Same to you, Father. We thank God for bringing us into a new week. Today being Monday, the first day of the week, we pray that God will bless all the work of our hands this week. Whatever we lay our hands, whatever plan we have for this week, Whatever intentions or we hope to get from God this week, we pray that by the merit of this Midnight Mass, that God will grant us all of them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is Monday and the 30th week in the ordinary time of the church. I pray that God will meet each and every one of us who are present in this Mass, whether physically here or online. May God meet us with our choices, her desires, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue in this Mass to pray for all those who booked Mass for the month of October. We continue to pray as well for those who already booked Mass for the month of November and beyond. And in a very special way, we pray for the following who booked Mass today for the month of November. Lillian Chizoba Opala is thanking God for his goodness, mercies, grace, and love upon her life and her family, the Cyril and Dorothy Opala family. Mr. and Mrs. Kalistus A.K. Anyamu, who marked their 18th year wedding anniversary yesterday, are praying for good health upon the, their family, long life and prosperity 
in thanks and thanksgiving to God for all that He has done in their life. Mr. Obiha, Papa Chukudomimi, is thanking God for the gift of life and praying for the repose of the soul of Mr. Michael Obiha as they mark his one year remembrance today. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray that God may grant all of us our hard desires. Those who are online, type in your intentions in the comment box, or you can simply say, my intentions are in this mass, or the intentions of my family are in this mass. As you do so, I want you to know that God knows those your intentions, and he will meet each and every one of us at our points of need. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To prepare ourselves worthily for this holy celebration, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and the mercy. Merciful Jesus, O oh, merciful Jesus, O oh, merciful Jesus, Jesus, I trust in you. O oh, merciful Jesus, O oh, merciful Jesus, O oh, merciful Jesus. Jesus, I trust in you to be worthy for this mass. Jesus, I trust in you to participate in this mass. Jesus, I trust in you in the time of trouble. Jesus, I trust in you. That my prayers be answered, Jesus, I trust in you. That my blessings may reach me, Jesus, I trust in you. For the sake of my family, Jesus, I trust in you. For my business this week, Jesus, I trust in you. For my office this week, Jesus, I trust in you. For my going and coming, Jesus, I trust in you. For divine security, Jesus, I trust in you. Merciful Jesus, oh merciful Jesus, oh merciful Jesus, Jesus, I trust in you. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, may He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians Brethren, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, 
as God in Christ forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But immorality and all impurity of conversiousness must not even be named among you, as it is fitting among saints. Let there be no filthiness, nor silly talk, nor levity, which are not fitting, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure man, or one who is conversious, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For it is because of these things that the wrath of God comes upon the son of disobedience. Therefore, do not associate with them. For once you were in darkness, but now you are, you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us be imitators of God as beloved children. Let us be imitators of God as beloved children. Let us be imitators of God as beloved children. Let us be imitators of God as beloved children. Blessed indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the paths with sinners nor abides in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Let, Let us be imitators of God as beloved children. children. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing water, that yield its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Let us be imitators of God as we love children. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord knows the way of the just, but the way of the wicked will perish. Let us be imitators of God as we love children. Gospel Affirmation Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many water and rain earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many water and rain earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, for me the potent Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Sanctify us in the truth. Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God, who made the rain. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God, who made the rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Luke's Gospel, 
chapter 13 from verse 10 to 17. At that time, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And there was a woman who had had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully stretch herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her and said to her, Woman, you are free from your infirmity. And he laid his hands upon her, and immediately she was made straight, and she praised God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to people, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his axe from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said this, all his adversaries were put to shame. And all the people rejoiced at the glorious things that were done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. And now to Mary. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the opening words of our today's first reading cause us to be kind to one another. and to forgive one another as God has forgiven us. That we should be imitators of God as his beloved children. This includes a sincere effort to love Christ who loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and the sacrifice to God by dying on the cross of Calvary. Giving our lives to Christ, therefore, mandates us to eschew all manner of impurity, immorality, covetousness. For all these are the breeding grounds of evil that may hinder us being kind with one another that may hinder us from being beloved children of God and the very good friends of Jesus Christ. In the Gospel reading, 
from the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 10 to 17, we are presented with a great show of kindness by Jesus Christ himself, who healed a woman of spirit of infirmity that had left her bent over for 18 good years. One can but imagine the inconveniences and embarrassment she suffered over the years. But all this, Jesus Christ, by a singular act of compassion and kindness, healed her and waved them away. But one thing that is very baffling is that Jesus performed this healing on the Sabbath. And the ruler of the synagogue was not happy about this. Then one began to imagine, does it mean that all the inconveniences and the embarrassment and the suffering that this woman has undergone all these 18 years, has not been witnessed by this ruler or this man is insensitive to such situation that has existed in the life of this woman for 18 good years and he knew he was not right to oppose that act of kindness that Jesus Christ has shown thus instead of attacking Jesus he turned and started attacking the people, telling them that there are six days in the week for which they should come for healing and not on the Sabbath day. In other words, telling the woman that she should have waited for another day to come for the healing. Child of God, you will agree with me that if you are in the shoes of this woman, who has been bent over by this spirit of infirmity for 18 years, you will seize every slighted opportunity you have to encounter the master Jesus Christ to receive your healing and be saved from the pains you undergo. And that was her situation. So when this man began to confront and complain, Jesus intervened. And addressed him in a very direct way. You hypocrites. You are so uncompassionate to the plight of this woman. But according to your laws. But these same laws are what you people did not look at. When you attend with compassion to animals oxes and asses on Sabbath when they are in need of water. And Jesus says such kindness should be shown to our fellow human being as well. So his noise did not bother Jesus Christ because Jesus never wants any human law to stand on the way of his power to alleviate the suffering and the pain of the people that come to him. His mission was to save the human person from all that held him captive. We should imitate the kindness of Jesus Christ in dealing with one another. The question we need to ask ourselves today, on this first day of the week, as we go about our business of the week and work of the week, is how often we turn away from acts of kindness for fear of what people will say, or for fear of what tradition or custom has said. 
Carrying out of out of kindness is one of the ways we can redeem our world today from inhumanity that presently perverts it. The whole world is in need of human kindness. Every one of us, those that are in leadership in government, if they are kind to the plight of the poor masses, there will be no crisis in any country. Those that are in leadership in various offices, if they are kind to the workers that work with them, the, their colleagues, there will be no crisis, there will be no problem in any office in the world. In marketplaces and so on and so forth, the same thing. But oftentimes, we even fear what those who are in our group will say. The executives have agreed this. Therefore, even when you see a clear act of kindness that ought to be done, you shy away from it because the law of the inner calculus, the cabal, is holding you bound. Dear friends in Christ, let us ask God through the grace of this midnight mass to liberate the souls, the minds, of each and every one of us and our people, our leaders, both religious and the civic leaders, from the cage and the bondage of tradition, bondage of laws, especially those Kabbalic laws that have made sincere people to operate like Mumu. You see some governors, because of the oath they have in a, a, a little community of evil men in politics, when he sees the truth, he will not say it. When he sees the right decision to take, he will not take it. And just be blowing around like, a, like chaff. We must stand our ground like Jesus Christ. Who never allowed any tradition, any custom, to stop him from doing the right thing at the right time and to the right persons that ought to receive it. May we never be cowards, but may we be faith believers, standing our ground, especially when there is a demand of kindness from us and some cultural, religious or ethnic barriers present themselves as a hindrance. May we never allow such to prevent us from doing what right act we ought to do in that particular situation. Even if it is religious barrier May we never allow it to hinder us from performing a right act. That is the aim of the message that Jesus wants to communicate to us today by healing this woman on a Sabbath day against the Sabbath law. There is what is called a pikaya, interpretation of the law not according to the letters of the law, but according to the mind of the Lord giver. We should lead by Epikaya. God has given us the mandate to be kind to one another today, as Jesus Christ exemplified. May no law stop us, because God is the prime giver of every human every civic, every, every law that exists. The law of God is the supreme law. And therefore, let us, in the face of every law, traditional, civic, or religious, think about the mind of God. Let us always ask ourselves, what will Jesus Christ do in this situation if he is to be here? 
and then act according to the mind of God, who is the lawgiver, and not just according to the letters of the law. Because sometimes, specific instances in our lives will contradict the letters of the law, and then the mind of the law, the mind of the lawgiver, because what will direct us properly in such situations. Therefore, we ask God for the grace to always decipher His will, His mind, in every situation we find ourselves, especially when we have to take urgent decision to show acts of kindness to people that we have some level of barrier to extend such hand of love to. And may God bless His word in our hearts in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In 61. When we talk with the Lord in the light of His word for the glory He shares on our way Abides with us still, and with all who we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his mind quickly drives it away. Not a doubt for a fear, not a sign or a tear. Can abide why we trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For the good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol your union with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those who died in the recent protests in our country, Nigeria. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Welcome them, O Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have fallen asleep in, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Father, hallowed be thy name, Father, thy kingdom come, Father. Thy will be done Father. on earth as in heaven. Father. Give us this day Father. our daily bread Father. and forgive us our trespasses. Father. 
us we forgive Father, those who Father, trespass against us Father, and lead us not Father, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Those online, you type in, peace be with you. As you wish others peace from wherever you are, may the peace of Christ locate you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Oh, Jesus, we adore thee, who in thy love be found. the mighty God, in forms of bread and wine. Oh, Yours I want to be, do with me whatever you will. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. United with our brothers and sisters who are following this Mass online, who cannot receive the communion sacramentally with us, let us say the art of spiritual communion. Art of spiritual communion. Art of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my, my Jesus. Jesus. We say it's threat without repeating it. We just follow the answer. I believe that you, you are present in the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I, I love, love you above all things, things. And, and I, I desire, desire to receive you into my soul. Into my soul. Since, Since I, I cannot, cannot receive you sacramentally you now. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Those online, you type it in. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Or you can simply say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart today. We continue. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. Those online share this Monday Mass now. It is the first Monday, first day of the week. The prayer we have made in this Mass is a new month, a new week prayer. A prayer that will bring integral newness in the life of somebody. Share it, and as you share this, you are an evangelizer, a minister by sharing. May God bless you for that, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you as you have shared, and I want to encourage us, today is 26th of October, we are entering into the month of November in a no distant time, by Saturday, we shall be at on um, 31st day of October, the last day, so that by Sunday we enter into first. Saturday night, 11 p.m., we shall have our testimony hour. I encourage us, testimony hour simply means testify that the Lord is good in your life. Call in and say what God did for you. It is not believing, I cannot believe it, that all through the month from the one to the finish, that all your midnight sacrifices are in vain. You must be able to go down the memory lane and find out something that God did for you. Those that their own miracles and testimonies are very glaring and conspicuous, just testify. There is power in testimony for the next level. There is power and testimony for the next level. We have just one hour for that. Just call in and say what God did for you in the month of October. So that program will be coming up 11 p.m. Nigeria time on Saturday. And I want to still encourage us as we enter into a new month, the month of November, come next Sunday, every one of us would have booked mass for our family. Dedicate and consecrate your family for a new month. Every month, to carry your family name back to the altar. Take your family, take your business, take your job, even your life and your desires, take it back to the altar. 
Remind God of what you want him to do for you every, every first or every new month. Every month. At the beginning of the month, book mass. Register your name for the month. Say, oh Lord, this month I am here again. Whether you are present, following the mass every day or not, you know that the mass, whether you are there or not, whether it is streamed online or not, that the mass is going on. That one is short banker. The most important thing is that you have submitted your name and that your name is on the altar in this mass books here. That your name is there. That's the most important thing. And God will never, will never forget you and your family all through that month. I pray that as people, as you book mass for the month of November and beyond, that the miracles of God will begin to locate you and your family by the power of this midnight mass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the simple way to book mass here, a lot of us have already known how to go about it. If you have not known, just send a message to our messenger, our Facebook messenger, send a message there. Chukudomi, Father Chukudomi, Okolo Facebook Messenger. Send a message, I want to book mass. I want to book mass. Just send a message, I want to book mass. Myself or one of my secretaries will reply you and tell you how to go about it. God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. I want to still encourage us. Your tithe offering in this ministry is used for charity. That is what tithe in this ministry is used for. Charity. I have a lot of them on my neck now. I need assistance and I'm not calling for direct support. If you want, you can pay your tithe here. We use it for charity. We use it to save people who are, become, are homeless at this hour. Some people are being driven out from where they are living. Nowhere to rest their head. These are basic human needs. Shelter. Some people are in need of food, and so on and so forth. Although we cannot convert them or make it a, a, a very a, a, a glaring a, a charity outreach this month, but then we are reaching out to people in our little, little ways. And I want you to be part of it. By next month, we shall have a special uh, collection for charity outreach. Especially the what we collect next month, we shall use it to reach out at the end of the month to the prisons and to the people on the streets. That's we will do our own Christmas for them at the end, at the last week of November. So I want to encourage every one of us. When that time comes, I will tell you. But this one I'm saying now: pay your time to our ministry here. We use it for charity. You can also sow a seed for charity and use it to open a, a way of favor for you. There is a, a, a priest who say that if you want to meet your need, you sow a seed. If you want to do that, you just send a message to us through the Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp Messenger. Or you can also send a direct message through my phone number that is online. May God bless you as you continue to support our charity outreach through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to YouTube and subscribe to Father Chukudiomimi, sorry, Chukudiomimi Adoration TV. Chukudiomimi Adoration TV. That is our YouTube channel. May God bless you as you subscribe in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the gracious blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Happy New Week to you all. Same to you, Father. In 293. Daily sing to Mary, sing my soul, how praises you. All her feasts that I shall worship, with a heart devotion true. Lost in wandering contemplation, 
Bless the Lord our hearts and mind, and grant that as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Justin de Jacobis, pray for us. Saint Louis Maria de Marillard, pray for us. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Happy New Week. Thank you, Father.